hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is deborah and in this space i vlog i cook i do faith-based content too and if you are new here you are highly welcome if you are here to subscribe please consider to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and drop your comments soon so today guys we are cooking um potato and cocoyam porridge yes today i want to try this recipe and i hope you guys will enjoy it so without wasting much of your time let's get into the video i'll be using potato these are sweet potatoes yeah don't mind the way it's looking i'm here to wash them but i'll be doing it behind the camera i'll wash it and peel it then come back to you guys again so I have my cocoa yam. In Nigeria, they call this cocoa indi. It's not the regular cocoa yam we use for cocoa yam soup in Nigeria, if you know what I'm talking about. But this one is kind of, it's a bit close to yam. But I really want to try it today because I don't know, I was inspired to do this. So guys, we are going to cook this together and I will give you my honest review. So for this um, recipe, we will be using very simple ingredients. Here I have got some chili flakes. I've got some salt to taste. I have crayfish here. And um, this is dry basil leaves. Yeah, I'll be using this for flavor. Because, because I was not able to get the fresh one. Over here, I've got my um, seasoning and my tomato paste. I'll be using this as the base because... Today, I'm not using red oil. But normally, when we want to make porridge, we use red oil for it. But today's own, guys, I got no red oil. So I will also show you how to improvise if you want to make porridge too. Lastly, I have some onions. Not some. I have an onion here. I have some cloves of garlic and an inch sized ginger this is for flavor so guys i'm done peeling the back of the cocoa yam and the potatoes i'll now go ahead to chop them into the sizes i'll prefer and when i'm done you guys you are going to see it cutting the potatoes and the cocoa yam the white the white colored ones there are the cocoa yam then the yellow ones are the potatoes so we go ahead now to cook a little oil because I do not want this to be oily now I'll go ahead to add my onions At this point, I'll go ahead to add the tomato paste I'll be using. this for one minute so I'll go ahead to add my chili flakes and a little crayfish for that local taste
and then give it a stir. This is my ginger and garlic and once I stir this I'll add water <music> so I added some water guys and I stirred it so I'll allow this to boil for some minutes like two minutes before I guys, come back after it has boiled for one minute I noticed that this stew is much for the porridge i want to do so i will have to reduce it before we continue so guys i'll go ahead to add in my cocoa yam first because the cooking time for this is a bit longer than that of quinoa than that for cooking potatoes so i'll add this cook it for some time before i'll add the potatoes guys i almost forgot to add them um, some seasoning for this to cook i'll add the rest when i add the potatoes This has been boiling for about 5 minutes now, so I'll go ahead to add um, the potato. Give it a stir. Exactly the way I want it. You know that porridge kind of, I don't know. But this is what I wanted and we are here yes exactly so this is it guys so now I'll have to go ahead and taste it and give you my very honest review because I must be sincere this is also my first time trying this guys you know when you're craving 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 you want to try stuffs or rather let me use the right word when you are a foodie, you will want to try a lot of things. So let me taste it. But seriously guys, I'm not exaggerating. It's actually tasty. And sweet. Maybe also because you know sweet potato naturally is sweet. So they are a nice combo. And I will recommend you try it. Cocoa yam and potato stewed porridge. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.